Event 26, Women's Collegiate Novice 8, Heat C, Lane 1, University of Southern California. Lane 2, San Diego State University. 3, University of Minnesota. Lane 4, University of California, Berkeley. 5, Clemson University. 6, University of Texas. 7, University of California, Los Angeles. The Aligners flag is up. The starter is now announcing the crews. Here we go. Attention. Attention. Go. The flag has been dropped. The final heat of the collegiate races for the morning. Event 26, women's collegiate novice. Crew's pretty level as we take the first several strokes with USC in lane one, punching out to a slight advantage over the University of Texas in lane six. Cal Berkeley's in the third spot. In San Diego State, Clemson, and UCLA. Very, very too close to call, really. Still, still during the upstrokes of the racing start now, as I see Texas making a big shift down, starting to move that boat out. Right now, it's the University of Texas, the Longhorns with a slight advantage over USC. UCLA is back into it too, as their coxswain calls for a 10. So right now, it's the University of Texas in lane number six, the slight lead over USC. University of Minnesota has pushed their bow into the contention for the second spot. Still, as we approach the 500 meter mark, it's Texas, then it's University of Minnesota, UCLA, USC, Clemson, then Cal Berkeley and San Diego State. Great boat race, this should be a good one with all boats being within, the first four boats being within a, a seat or two of one another. 500 meters gone, and it's anybody's race. The form boat in this race should be Clemson University, but they're having less than a uh, stellar first 500 here. They're unbeaten so far this season. They've beaten Eastern Michigan, Northeastern, Syracuse, Indiana, Marist, Iowa, Purdue, Boston, University, and Kansas. But they're going to have their work cut out in this race to stay unbeaten. San Diego State have wins over UC Davis, but they've lost to Sacramento State. We have no form from Cal. UCLA have beat the Loyola Marymount and U University of San Diego and Minnesota's B-Boat, USC and Texas's B-Boat we have no form from. Um, the crews in lane three, Minnesota and lane six, Texas are their B-Boats. Their A-Boats have competed in the two prior heats. But at the moment it's University of California who appear to have taken over at the front of this race. Certainly the early leaders were UCLA and UCLA are still in the hunt. They seem to be about half a boat length back with USC similarly half a boat length back on their leaders Cal at this point. So USC and their cross uh, Los Angeles rivals uh, UCLA are level pegging with each other but both chasing their Northern California Nemesis Cal out in the lead of this race at the moment. The early challenge that came from the University of Texas B boat seems to have faded somewhat. Looks like UCLA has moved comfortably past. Nearly, nearly bowed a coxswain from the Texas boat. So UCLA is 
looking strong still out there. And again, they're coming up to where the channel is. If you look out on the water, the last heat, the water was very smooth, except right at the channel, it's starting to pick up. Shouldn't be anything that gives them any trouble. So out in front of this race, Cal, they seem to have a reasonably comfortable lead at the moment. They're trying to move away from USC in lane one and UCLA in lane seven. This is again one of, it's again one of those races where Cal have a big advantage, where the Coxon does, because they're sitting in the middle of the race course and they can keep an eye on UCLA to their far right and USC to their far left. Still in the hunt is the University of Texas. They seem to have had a better third 500. They certainly lost the plot a little bit in the second 500. I'm sure their coach will be looking at their cox box to find out what happened there. But it's UCLA out the far side. Uh, University of California in the middle, looking very impressive in the, green, in the uh, gold and blue. And in lane one, the University of Southern California. Cal continuing to come down the race course. Texas pushing back at UCLA. UCLA's push at Cal basically seems to have come to an end. And USC seem to have lost some ground on, on UCLA as well. In fact, it may start to be getting tight between Texas's B-boat and USC in lane one. Texas's B-boat out in lane six. So we, we have um, Cal is looking solid, along with UCLA racing for first and second, and University of Southern California, USC, pushing hard against University of Texas. They're racing for third and fourth. The other crews are still, they're still rowing hard, they're still racing each other hard for fifth place. Yes, it's UCLA and USC. Cal have this race uh, in hand. It's US, UCLA who have won the battle, the ding-dong battle that's been going on down the course for that second qualifying position for the grand final of the women's collegiate novice. And it looks like Cal will go through, they've controlled the race from the beginning. UCLA and in fact USC are now uh, struggling to hold on to third spot ahead of Texas. Texas seemed to have got there over them. Uh, Texas had a, a good start, bad second 500, but have had a good, good uh, last thousand meters of the race. Couple of minutes before we start event number 27, it'll be the men's junior. And in that particular category, we are looking at three heats. So we will have two crews going forward to the grand final in each of these next three races. Coming up, Marin, Long Beach, Oakland Strokes, and San Diego Rowing Club event 27. will be on the water shortly. <laughs> 